Okay, so Ministry of New was um, originally founded by my partner, Marlies Blumendal, and uh, she was a graphic designer, art director, and was looking for a creative space uh, to do her shoots and her own work. And she found this amazing space in Laobag and um, kind of did it up, but obviously it was like too big for her, so she uh, wanted to share it with some other creatives. So she got some other photographers and different people in the kind of creative scene to share the, the rent of that space. So it was kind of arose from a very practical need and uh, grew organically into the collaborative workspace when there actually were not that many collaborative workspaces out there. So uh, Ministry of New, we have uh, different types of memberships. For individuals, we have part-time and full-time memberships. Um, you can have five day a month, ten day a month. You could work, be working full-time. We're open Monday to Saturday. Um, so that's one type of membership. We've got team rooms av available as well for small startups or teams. Um, we've got meeting room space, uh, workshop space. We do events. So there's many different aspects to um, business. I think startups have been really um, attracted to this space. Uh, you know, startups, they need a lot of energy and uh, this space is definitely gives a lot of room for creative thinking. There's also a lot of other interesting people to meet, which is also inspiring. Um, so startups have really found it quite interesting to come here and um, I think also our rates are pretty competitive if you look at the kind of quality of environment that you get and the kind of space that you get. Uh, of course all amenities are included just like any other co-working space. Uh, but definitely the kind of peace of mind, we've, we've really had people report that they have productivity levels go up by kind of threefold by working here, which is great of course if you're a startup or even an individual. So basically the space when we found it was <clears throat> already very beautiful because it's a heritage site. I mean, we, both of us already uh, knew Kitab Mahal, uh, we've been to Studio X before so we knew the building and um, we just uh, tried to keep the heritage as, as much intact as possible. So we retained the old shutters, we retained the old doors. What we loved about the space is the natural light, so we actually tried to not clutter it up with a lot of furniture and keep the furniture a mix of very modern, I mean both of us are European, so kind of very modern, clean design, uh, but then also with very cozy elements, a little bit more homey elements, uh, and local touches, so things brought in from Crawford Market, Chor Bazaar, uh, old travel trunks, um, we were called your professional oasis, so we definitely wanted to have a lot of plants. So you'll see tons and tons of beautiful plants around the entire space. So it's kind of a mix of all of these elements. So the kind of careers of people that work here, I, I've not even heard of any of those careers. It's just been really interesting in that sense. So we've had, on, on the individual level, we've had people, um, We've had everyone from drone mappers, people who are doing that professionally, to someone who's um, been analyzing data from the mission to Pluto, and he's just every day just kind of looking at the data and analyzing that, which is also really interesting. He's a uh, consultant for NASA. Uh, we have investors, we have lawyers, we have judges, uh, but we have a lot of designers. Um, so it's a real, real mix of people, and I think that's what makes it um, super interesting. On the um, startup front, we have social entrepreneurs. So for example, we have a company that is dealing with um, gender uh, education, sex education in schools. Um, so that's a very interesting topic. We also have established companies like the Financial Times, who is looking for a, a different kind of a place to operate out of. We have Little Black Book, which of course is known for you know, letting you know about the latest trends in the city. Uh, we have another interesting startup called Indie Network, which is also doing something different, trying to bring uh, Indian cultural heritage kind of back to you know media and everything like that. So it's 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 people coming up with very interesting new formulas for working, 
new collaborations, like maybe sometimes mashing two different, an, an old school uh, industry with something new together. So uh, it's been very inspiring actually for us to meet these kind of people.